Hello YouTube, this is Brago750. Today I will be showing you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch 1st gen, 2nd gen, and 3rd gen. Even if your iPod Touch 3rd gen you update it to 3.1.3 or even your other iPods the same. Uh, I have a few download links in my description. You'll see soon. Um, right now I'm going to show you what program you're going to be using. It's not Black Rain because GeoHot has not updated Black Rain for this. So we'll be using Red Snow 0.9.2. There's a few Red Snows that you'll have to use due to the fact that it's for different iPods. Where here, there's Red Snow 0.9.2 for your iPod Touch or your iPhone 2G, 3G, and iPod Touch First Gen. And then there's the other one, which is for iPod Touch 2, 2G and 3G. Okay, start this off, you're going to download Red Snow 0.9.4 or for your respective iPod. Okay, then you'll take it and you'll browse for your current firmware. Uh, let me see, there we go, where it says browse. That's after downloading the firmware from the link I'll give you. Okay, browse, and I already have it on my desktop right here. Let's see. It will appear as an IPSW, dot IPSW, open. It will go to processing firmware, and it will take a while for that. Okay, my firmware just finished processing, as you can see right there, okay, and I'll go to next, down there, and that will say connect to the server, right up here. I'll take a few seconds, and I'll go to Patching Kernel. Then right here, it'll say Install Cydia, Bose Boot, Custom Boot Logo, Custom Recovery Logo, and Already Pwned. Okay. Um, we'll just let it install Cydia, because anyone who has a uh, iPod Touch 3G 8 gig, which this will only work for, you won't be able to have a boot logo or a recovery logo, because this jailbreak is still tethered, meaning if you turn your iPod, iPod off like this, let me see, where if I were to hit slide to power off on here like my iPod, if I hit that and turned off, it would then um, be back at the iPod, to, I have to connect my iPod to iTunes. So right here I'll click next, okay and it will then give me instructions. Please make sure your iPod is turned off, plugged into the computer. If it is not, you have to wait. Make sure just to turn off your iPod like I did. So if you had a 3.1.3 iPod, you could turn it off and make sure it's plugged in. But when it's plugged in, make sure it's not on at all. Okay, then you would hit next. You'll hold down the power button for two seconds. One second. Ten, then you hold, with, uh, without releasing the power button, you have to also hold down the home button for 10 seconds. Okay, and then you would hold, without releasing the home button, you release the power button for 26 seconds, which would then put your iPod in DFU mode, which is like when you have to restore your iPod completely. Another 15 seconds. And complete and one. There we go. And it also says no device detected only because I don't have my iPod connected because I'm not going to be doing this. Then you'd go to iTunes. Let me just pop it up. iTunes. And Okay, now when you open up iTunes, you'll, you'll connect it to iTunes as it would pop up. So, for that to happen, you'd have to then when you connect your iPod, you'll get, well, it won't show it like this because my iPod's not in restore, but it'll be, show your iPod and it won't show anything up top. 
it'll just have your iPod and information. There you'll have the update and restore button. Now, when you click to restore, you're going to click it by doing this. You're going to hold shift, shift, and then you're going to click your mouse button on it, as you normally would. So a little menu will pop up like this. Okay. Okay, now this, you'll click it. And a little menu. A little menu will pop up. And where you save your um, firmware, men, uh, your firmware that you download from the link I give you, you should save it to your desktop. Where you see I have it right here. But when you make it with the red snow, it'll give you a custom firmware. So you'll go to that and you'll restore your iPod with that firmware. And that will jailbreak your iPod. So show everyone that is how to downgrade your iPod Touch 3G back to uh, 3.1.2. Or to update your iPod 3.1.2, you can also jailbreak that way. So uh, that's it, guys.